Well, I've got some good news for you. Uh, Donald Trump is not going to be the only individual out of a job come January 21st. Because this douchebag, Ajit Pai, current chairman of the FCC, will also be out of a job. Now, what's interesting to me is that his term doesn't actually expire until June. Nonetheless, he announced that he will be resigning a little bit early. He'll be also stepping down come January 20th. And as CNBC's Lauren Finer reports, Federal Communications Commission Chairman Ajit Pai will step down from his post on January 20th, the day President-elect Joe Biden is inaugurated, he announced Monday. The announcement means that the FCC could reach a Democratic majority sooner than it would otherwise be able to. Pai's term was slated to expire in June of 2021, though Biden will be able to choose a Democrat to chair the commission once in office. Commissioners must be confirmed by the Senate. Pai's decision to step down could have significant implications on net neutrality, an issue that helped define his term as chairman. In 2017, Pai voted with his fellow Republican commissioners to remove rules that prohibited internet providers from blocking or slowing traffic to particular sites and offering higher speed lanes at higher prices. Many major internet providers have not yet taken advantage of that rule change, however. Quote, it has been an honor of a lifetime to serve at the Federal Communications Commission, including as chairman of the FCC over the past four years, Pai said in a statement. I am grateful to President Trump for giving me the opportunity opportunity to lead the agency in 2017, to President Obama for appointing me as a commissioner in 2012, and to Senate Majority Leader McConnell and the Senate for twice confirming me. To be the first Asian American to chair the FCC has been a particular privilege, as I often say, only in America. How inspiring. Uh, the five-person commission can have no more than three commissioners from one party at any given time under the law. The president can appoint a chair of the commission from outside the agency or select one of the existing commissioners, such as Democrat commissioners Jessica Rosenworcel and Jeffrey Starks. Okay, so I've got two main things that I want to say first of all. Um, if Joe Biden chooses Jessica Rosenworcel as the new FCC chair, that is really, really good news for net neutrality proponents because she is a staunch ally to the fight for net neutrality. Second of all, uh, who wants to take bets? How long until Ajit Pai gets a cushy new job at Verizon or Comcast because he did exactly what they wanted him to do. Uh, remember that this individual served as legal counsel to Verizon and then he led the FCC. So after delivering the policy that they wanted, of course, they're going to pay him back by giving him a job probably with a really hefty sign-on bonus. I'd be surprised if I'm wrong, but trust me, he's going to be part of that industry, either a lobbyist or something, but I think that that's part of the reason why he's stepping down, because he wants to go on to make more money. He did everything that he could, except, you know, his effort to undermine net neutrality was partially obstructed by the courts, who ruled against him and said that states who enact their own net neutrality laws, well, those states can have those laws on the books, because remember, his net neutrality... Uh, repeal was so nefarious because within his repeal was a clause that blocked states from enacting their own net neutrality laws. And now uh, that is not standing. So states like Washington, California, Oregon, uh, who have net neutrality on the books, and New York as well, I believe, uh, they make it a lot more difficult for states to do or for internet service providers to do what they want to because states enacted their own net neutrality laws so why would you go out of your way to you know start creating these fast lanes for some states that are less populous than other states it's a little bit more of a hassle i mean maybe they'll do it maybe they're waiting on lawsuits but what we know is that everything that he did can easily be undone with jessica rosenworcel as chairwoman of the fcc or any Democrat that Biden appoints. Because again, net neutrality was part of the Obama legacy that I'm assuming Biden will want to maintain. And he probably will take a hands-off approach to net neutrality. But so long as he puts someone in place uh, of a GPI in this position to undo what he did, that's that's a victory. So this is great news. I cannot wait to see uh, Ajit Pai gone. Good riddance. I know that you'll probably get a job at Verizon, but I don't even care. So long as you're not in the FCC uh, dictating policies when you are a shill for the industry, that's uh, that's good for me. Go have fun at Verizon. I hope that you make a lot of money. You certainly deserve it after everything that you did, undermining the will of people who did not want you to repeal net neutrality like you did it anyway in spite of mass protests. So um, 
you certainly earn that bonus that Verizon or Comcast pays you. So have fun, have a nice life. Fuck off, asshole. Beta male.